Hey guys, welcome back. Out here in the standing lumber yard, as I'll call it, amongst my red pine trees. What we're doing today is we're firing up the old sawmill there. Gonna get some of these red pines that I just skidded out not long ago. Get them cut up into some two by fours. I've got a project that I've been meaning to put a railing on for probably like three years and we'll go and have a look at it in a minute. We're getting it done today. These red pines, you're going to notice they're not that big. This is very common uh, for my red pine plantation here. I have a lot of red pines that are pretty good size, but not a lot that are very big. This red pine plantation, and just have a look around me here, it's at an age where it needs to be thinned. I am working on that, but obviously I'm a one, one person operation. And so for me to thin this uh, by myself, yeah, it's going to be a long process. So I'm taking out trees here and there. Many of them are small. Uh, so that's what we got up here. I don't know the exact diameter here. You're probably looking at like six inches there, maybe six and a half there. And then the small ones are probably like, I don't know, five inches or, or so, give or take. So we're going to cut them up into, into two by fours. Nonetheless, I got, uh, got projects for that material. What we're using to do that is this thing right here. You guys have seen this if you've been around the channel before. This is my uh, trusty Woodland Mills, my HM130 Max. This thing is a little bit different than some of the some of the sawmills out there. I have two lasers on mine, one there and one over there. Uh, I like to use that because it gives me a good visual for where the first, second, third, and fourth cut is going to be. Um, it's just a little bit faster than me coming out here with the tape measure and estimating where the blade's going to enter the log. So you'll see that in action. Um, that laser over there, if you haven't been here before, what that does is it actually broadcasts the line on this side of the log so that I can make sure I'm not gonna hit my log stops. I'm pretty good at not hitting it, knock on wood, but uh, not perfect. I've definitely trimmed a few of those steel log stops before. Another thing you'll notice with my mill, uh, I've got the power head here. So that's the power up and down. That is relatively new to me. I like it. You guys will see it in action here today. And uh, if you are interested, there's a little switch for the lasers. So we're gonna fire this up, stop talking, probably drink some sludge and get down to it. Guys, welcome back. And uh, normally I'd put up these little, I don't know what we'll call them, these four by fours here to span the gap between the log deck and the sawmill. These logs are so small, one of the benefits is I can actually just move them by hand. Although uh, it does make for an awful lot of cutting. Every time you have small logs, you're uh, getting less yield or yes, l less lumber out of each, oh, can't talk, out of each log. But you can certainly load them quick. Go with that, I think. All right, fire up. go wrong there the conditions out here have been up and down all over the place warm cold and everything in between it's been sitting for probably i don't know a week and a half or so we'll let her warm up a bit and we'll get down to it see that i didn't know what the heck was going on check this out hopefully there wasn't a squirrel in there but uh we got all these guys that were just inside the inside the housing there let's have a look see and hope we don't find anything we don't want to find this should have been my clue but i wasn't really thinking see that paper there i don't even know where this came from i don't think i left it out here i'm a little scared to look to be honest with you guys that just came flying like right out here. So I don't see any critters down there. You guys have a look down on the ground there. See all the stuff that just came out? Nature adventures here. Okay, make sure nothing's gonna bite me. 
Holy, look at that. Stock pile. Gee, I almost feel guilty here. The uh, That's probably a squirrel there. The squirrel was getting ready for, for winter. Look at that. That's crazy. This has been like, as I said, a week and a half, maybe almost two weeks, but gee, nothing crazy. I didn't kick the blade off. That's the main thing. Let's go to the other side. Gosh, I'm certainly glad there wasn't a critter in there. That would have been an awful mess. Certainly not a way to go for anything. <laughs> oh. Okay, this side's clean. Looks like he was starting over here, but the critter was smart. Doesn't want to make it right there. Might get other critters bothering him. Okay, well, let's button this thing back up and try that again. I tell you, I've been sawing for a number of years now. I don't know how many exactly, but uh, I've never seen that before. Definitely didn't think to look. Okay, back to it. Okay.
good. All right, guys, well, we took those relatively small logs. These are red pines, by the way. We ended up making 13 two by four by tens. You guys can see them down here. So nice rough lumber. And then in addition to that, we made two two by four by eights. So despite the fact that they're fairly small, don't just discard those logs. You might as well make something useful out of it. This is gonna go and finish off a project that if you've been around the channel for a while, you've probably seen and you've probably yelled through your screen at me to get finished. One thing that I'm really liking, and you guys often ask me about it down in the comments, uh, is this thing, the power head. I didn't know whether I would like it when I initially got it because I liked and I was used to the handle. You guys remember the handle up here? So I didn't know if I'd like this or not. 
Turns out I do. I like it because it allows me to get out here and work longer and I don't get that achy feeling at the end of the day in my shoulder. Now I'm, uh, you know, I'm not that old. I feel older than I am probably some days, but uh, I can tell you when I had the handle after a stint of, of cutting, I did feel it the next day in my, in my shoulder. So I think that thing is, uh, it's been a great addition for me. It's also nice because it has that precision. When I press the rocker switch, Like when I'm pressing the rocker switch like this, like it's just going up by a little bit and down by a little bit. So it has that precision. So I don't feel like I'm going to bypass my mark. I can get right to it. That was a big concern of mine. The other thing is it's pretty quick. Like I'm going to hold down the up switch here. And you guys can see there, like it's not messing around. It's making its way right through the range. And so that was another concern. It was either going to not be precise enough to get my mark or it was going to be way too slow and I'd be sitting here sort of staring at it as I watched it. All right, guys. Well, I think that'll do it for me here today. I'm going to take that lumber that I just cut and I'm going to be putting it up to that project I keep talking about so that I can finish it up. It's only been like three years or so, but as they say, better late than never. I also want to take care of this big pile of slab wood. If this gets going and gets out of hand, it becomes even a bigger pain, especially when the snow falls and it freezes to the ground. So Got to take care of that so that I can get access back to my sheds here. These sheds behind the sawmill need to be cleaned up because that's where my lumber is going to be stockpiled for the winter time that I'm going to be cutting. However, if we have a look back here, my slab rack, which I want to use to take care of my slabs, is a little under the weather. So I also got to figure out a plan for that. If you're wondering what happened there, I didn't have the camera out, but don't ever try moving a slab rack full of slabs with a tractor. The tractor isn't exactly forgiving. It'll lift whatever you put the forks under, but it's not going to do it nicely. Yeah, another project. Anyways, guys, appreciate you being here. If uh, you have any questions, put it down below, and I'll see all you guys next time.